how will a community react if we roll out a sanitation subsidy scheme? Will everybody jump onto the bandwagon and build themselves toilets? Or is there a chance that there won't be much enthusiasm? One must keep two factors in mind. The first is, the diseases caused by open air edification will not go away even if a small number of people continue to defecate in the open. And hence, from an individual point of view, it makes sense to invest resources in building a toilet only if everybody else is also investing resources in building toilets at the same time. Secondly, if going out in the open is a social norm anyway, then obviously people will not build more toilets even if there is a subsidy. In situations where individual decision outcomes are dependent upon what everybody else does, we have designed an experiment in order to understand such decisions. Welcome to this experiment and first of all thank you very much for agreeing to take part in this experiment. We are going to play a game today. Let me explain to you the rules of the game. Each of you is divided into pairs, though we shall not tell you who your partner is. You have two options, A or B. Similarly, your partner can choose A or B. If both of you choose A, both of you get 500 rupees. If both of you choose B, both of you gain just 100 rupees. If you choose A and your partner chooses B, you actually lose 200 rupees and your partner gets 300 rupees. Similarly, if you choose B and your partner chooses A, then your partner loses 200 rupees but you gain 300 rupees. Are these rules clear to everybody? Sure? Okay. Now, these rules have been written down here on a piece of paper. You are supposed to take this sheet of paper, go away from here, sit, think carefully and then make your choices. And under no circumstances are you allowed to talk to each other. Is this clear? Sure. Now you can give the clear. Thank you very much for agreeing to take part in this experiment. Today we are going to play a game. Let me first tell you what the rules of the game are. All of you have been divided into pairs, though we shall not tell you who your partner is. You have two options, choose A or choose B. Similarly, your partner has two options, A or B. If both of you choose A, then both get rupees 500. If you choose B and your partner chooses B, both of you get 100 rupees. If you choose A and your partner chooses B, you lose 200 rupees, whereas your partner gets 300 rupees. Whereas if your partner chooses A and you choose B, you get 300 rupees, whereas the partner loses 200 rupees. Are these rules clear to everybody? Yes. Now an important bit of information is that 60% of your partners have already committed to choose A. This is a very important bit of information for you. Now you must take this piece of paper where the rules are written, sit down, think carefully and make your choice. And under no circumstances are you supposed to talk to each other. Yes, these rules clear to everybody? We did this experiment with 48 pairs of individuals in 4 batches. In our experiment, choice A corresponded to an individual choosing sanitation, whereas choice B corresponded to an individual choosing going out in the open. If everybody chooses A, 
then that maximizes collective benefit. In the first treatment, most people chose B. Why did they choose that? Because they were not really sure that everybody else will also choose A. In the second treatment, I told everybody that most people would be choosing A. And in the second treatment, most people chose A. What does this show? Without an effective communication strategy, only subsidies will not work. This experiment can be scaled up before it is actually put into practice. That will vastly increase our chances of success.